Aero Energy's Tipton gas site near Dalby, Queensland, Australia was built as a greenfield plant to process methane gas from nearby coal beds to supply Southeast Queensland's Braemar Power Station. We've got approximately about 85 coal bed methane wells in the surrounding area and this is the main compression plant which compresses that gas uh, then dehydrates it. When fully operational with all wells online the plant will produce around 30 terajoules of gas per day. To get the plant up and running under tight deadline was Tipton's first challenge. Yeah, certainly the Tipton gas project was fast paced from the first time that we um, started talking to the client to commissioning was in the order of about nine months. Keeping the plant up and running continuously and safely was the second and ongoing challenge. This plant is a full continuous operation uh, every day of the year, 24 hours a day, around the clock, uh, yeah, we don't stop. Reliability is a major uh, priority for our control system. Uh, if we do go offline whatsoever, we're failing to produce and therefore could be penalised financially, so there's a maximum amount of emphasis put on a reliable control system. To meet these challenges, Aero Energy looked to the engineering expertise and technology solutions in a partnership with Emerson Process Management. The decision to go with Emerson was based upon uh, an, an evaluation that was carried out uh, on a number of systems. The Emerson product was a more cost effective, but also having local representation was the driver behind the decision. A lot of the equipment we use here is Emerson. Yeah, it's been used throughout Australia, quite a proven product. It was certainly a, a challenge um, that's with an SIS component, with the control system project engineering, and with the field instruments, the client wanted to see a, a unified front from one area being Brisbane, being locally based. And that was one of the challenges, and we made it as transparent as possible, despite it being in a number of different regions. The Tipton control strategy capitalized on Emerson's Delta V Smart SIS system as part of an integrated control solution. The decision to go with the Delta V SIS was basically a result of the simplicity in design and the high reliability that we could achieve. We don't have a great number of IO points within the plant being small, so we've been able to achieve that by integrating the SIS with the control system. Delta V SIS has been accepted um, in Australia by the customers. Uh, it's well accepted, I would say. Basically, uh, one of the reasons is uh, it's user friendly, it's uh, more of a plug and play, and uh, it's uh, pretty easy to operate. Engineering and commissioning the plant proceeded ahead of schedule. For um, the commissioning phase and the startup phase, uh, we didn't really have any major problems. It did go um, quicker than expected. Most of the products work quite well. You don't want to stretch um, that phase of the, the job out. You want to get your plant up and running. One particularly pleasing point was through the commissioning process and the uh, remote data communication links to uh, external devices uh, we found to be a very quick and easy process, whereas at times that can be very difficult. So we're really happy with the end result. With Australia's long distances between city and site, the digital automation system's remote access was a great time and money saver. I'm based in Brisbane, so it's, a, it's probably looking at a uh, seven hour return journey from site. So. Okay. Remote access is, uh, is great to have. I spent uh, a week at the FAT in Melbourne overseeing testing uh, of the entire system. Uh, the SIS uh, went very smoothly, uh, basically no changes to be made. Uh, we carried that through to site, still with no changes, so we're, we're really happy with that result. Emerson's certified SIS engineers helped bring the Tipton site's safety instrumented system online according to international standards. The SIS the design was done by our Auckland uh, SIS engineer uh, through the uh, pre-testing. The engineer was involved with one of our Melbourne SIS engineers 
that uh, goes to site and so on. So the field engineer worked with the SIS lead in Auckland through the, um, through the pre-testing and then our local engineer in Melbourne took over and handled the FAT with the customer. Once we'd completed the FAT, we uh, then shipped the whole system up to Brisbane and my understanding is it went fine. We just got an email one day saying we did pre-testing one day and two days later we were on production. The commissioning was not only compliant with international safety standards, but also ahead of schedule and on budget. The plant commissioning was completed almost two months ahead of our contract delivery date. So the development of the system through the FAT and then into the site, uh, pre-commissioning and then into the, the SAT was, uh, was uh, quite um, uh, seamless. Not very many changes whatsoever. The project delivery from Emerson uh, was run on time, no issues with schedule. Uh, the cost was very close to our original quoted price. So the issues with the project management, uh, very happy with. I believe first gas came through this facility on the 7th of February. One of the positive signs about this project is that uh, on, in the first week after first, first gas came through, Emerson were not called into, onto site, which is always a very plus factor. Once online, the integrated SIS and control systems began delivering results. The system is fairly easy to uh, learn, it's, it's, it's intuitive, there's obvious links to the plant components from the main graphical display, so for new operators coming in uh, there's very few issues and, and it doesn't take long to get them up to speed on, on monitoring the performance of the plant. We have activated the SIS through actual plant conditions whereby uh, commissioning compressor units, uh, uh, paint, uh, painting on a metal surface uh, ignited and therefore the plant was safely shut down as per design without an issue. So we're, we're quite happy with that. So all of our testing um, transferred through to real operations. With the Delta V system it is handy uh, with faults, alarms, because it is a 24-hour operation we might have a problem during the night or a day before and you can trend that or you can go back into the system and uh, find your problem or when it's occurred and this helps greatly with troubleshooting and rectifying the problems. So far um, in the initial stages through commissioning and uh, the first couple of months of production the um, product from we've got from Emerson has um, done its job. I guess uh, some of the challenges in, from a field instrument and a sensor um, perspective was that in the, the some of the gas flows were extremely low pressures and the, the DP generated across the anti-bar was extremely small and we, we've supplied some anti-bars with multivariable transmitters on those flow applications with very very good results. We have uh, used remote access, we have remotely accessed the system uh, using PC Anywhere software and a modem. Uh, I've used it recently from home to uh, access the system for a tuning purpose. So it's uh, working uh, quite effectively. With reporting in these facilities, it uh, can be quite a big job, um, whether you get in a paper trail or try and do it electronically. Uh, the Emerson system, this Delta V system, should help us out quite a lot in this area. The plant history uh, provides us with uh, an easy access to to the history of plant performance, so therefore being able to look at the plant operation uh, and the uh, events leading up to uh, shutdowns has been an advantage. To date we've had nil issues with reliability. Equally important to reliable field devices and control systems, the Tipton plant relies on engineering services and support from its local business partner. What we've found with Emerson Engineering is that uh, We've got a, a, a wide uh, amount of experience in, 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 on the different areas of the control system, ranging from the, the basic controller through to the, to the SIS. So we're fairly happy with what we've been able to get from them there. I think it was a, an interesting um, project purely because of what we spoke about earlier, that you had the, the Fisher valve guys involved, you had the control systems guys involved, the field instrument guys involved, 
and as the visualised MSNR, we managed to jointly put the whole thing together to ensure that we had a, a smooth operation from the client's perspective, and that worked very well. Uh, absolutely, out, out of Brisbane, uh, we find Emerson to be uh, ready to respond uh, at any time should we need them, uh, easily contactable. So we're very happy with uh, what we've been able to uh, get from Emerson as far as service provision is concerned. I guess my understanding is the project went quite successfully. The most satisfaction I get out of my job is being involved with the project from the conceptual stage and seeing it right through to commissioning and handover operations. So this project being compressed into less than one year from detailed design through construction, commissioning and handover has been a, uh, a very rewarding experience.